Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another round of the Blitz World Series. All right, all right, here we go, guys. We got Snark in yellow on the left. We got MZIN in red on the right. MZIN, uh, for those of you who don't know, Go Going's younger brother fighting out of Pakistan. His older brother is a, a good, good player. He just started playing uh, Blitz last last weekend. He played the D4 tournament, wrecked everybody. So now we're kind of seeing where he stands. Did just play Doofus, took him down. Doofus did put up a good fight, didn't have the reps on the map. But MZIN looking tough. He plays very, very aggressive. So we got Snark in here to try to slow him down. Snark playing allied. Doofus, how are you feeling? Where are you putting your money on this match? Best of five. Who do you think is taking it home? Uh, Snark got the, uh, the most experience in uh, in Red Alert 2, Euros Revenge. So given this map, maybe MZIN has the blitz advantage, but Snark has the, yeah. the game advantage. Yep, I think and, so. Uh, but, Yep. Sorry, go I ahead. I think I've noticed. No, no, no. Don't worry, bro. Uh, let's see. The one thing I noticed about this map is just on the on the map of last month, you, had, you could just stretch your base. You have unlimited space to build. And this map... Oh, I didn't notice the power plant at the top. <laughs> oh, you can build up there. Oh, no, never mind. But I thought this map is much smaller to build on. Yeah, it definitely uh, is. It's definitely much smaller. And the big thing is, if you want to build on the top level, you have to keep your power plant. If you lose the power plant, you can't build up there. And that top area gives you a lot of space. There's not much area down here, so you kind of need to play both levels, especially if you go into a late game. So Snark not able to get anything done offensively with his GIs and obviously gives up his defensive advantage by losing them. Um, and now stuck trying to defend himself with a single eagle. And uh, MZIN got... That's looking good for Snark. Yeah. This, this is going to be a quick one no for uh, MZIN. Yeah, MZIN is going to be taking home a quick one here. Um, and Snark, I mean, allied... Uh, he got he got a little too aggressive there, trying to attack with his GIs. He needed to hold. He needed to keep his GIs to defend. Um, MZIN, MZIN is 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 going to be tough as an allied player with these early rhinos. Mm -hmm. So MZIN here with an early advantage, snark without a war factory, and broke. Yeah. Uh, spending a lot of money on that uh, GGI and. That's a good play from uh, MZIN going after the power plant at the top. Yep, and now MZIN just playing with his food a little bit here. There's no reason for him not to go in. Um, but uh, anyway, Snark getting, Snark getting warmed up here in this first point. Snark was, you know, he did just watch your whole game too. So you'd think he would, um, you'd think he would have, you know, been able to strategize here a bit more. Um, we'll see if he switches factions this next point. Allied, he actually, he could have defended his allied. He could, he could have made it work. He needed either to get value offensively with his GIs or use the GIs defensively. It just, mm. to throw that many GIs and get nothing out of it, it's just, there's just no way to come back. No, it's not left with one, one oil. It's not <laughs> going to generate enough money to deal with this, no. uh, this battle. GG call from Snark. 1-0 for MZIN. Yep, it is best of five, so you don't want to be throwing those early points like that. But Snark, uh, getting warmed up here. Let's see. Uh, let's see if he can put on a bit of a sh more of a show for us. Is he going to switch factions? Is the question? I think so. I think Snark will go allied all the way. Snark keeping. I think allied. he just Snark. Wasted too much money on that GI rush at the beginning, and one thing about Blitz is that early money is it runs up quickly. Yep, yep, and especially against a player like MZIN. I mean, sometimes you'll see games where both players are going early economy and, and move, playing more of a uh, mid game, but um, with MZIN, I mean, he's only bringing it right down your throat right away. That's how he won the whole tournament. That's how he played against you. Um, so Snark needs to. Uh, expect to be buckled in early and as the allied player i mean at the, at the it's so funny because at the lower level allied versus soviet you're like how can allied ever win at the top level allied is is generally favored in blitz because if you can resist early on uh the eagles the rockies become uh, so so valuable but it's all about surviving mm -hmm. early on that is true but we have to take in mind as well that this map is smaller than the previous one uh as the in the first game that I played against MZIN, I went two oils first, and then go, uh, War Factory. He just out tanked me really yep, quick there. Yep, yep, yep. He's just so much quicker to your base because this map is smaller, and uh, I just didn't expect it to be 
Yeah. So swift. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He had we saw we saw that first point where like, uh oh, he had three rhinos before you had any, I think, you know. And, and so Snark, and I like this from the Soviet player, making him try to defend both positions. Cause again, if you lose that power plant on the top cliff, then you can't build up there late game and you do get very, very stuck. So uh Snark baiting very nicely here. He's got a couple dogs in the mix. He's got those pillboxes. He wants to defend that top side. He's going uh Going with the Frankenstein defense, straight Grizzlies versus Rhinos is tough. He's not bringing any infantry, any infantry into the mix. Um, this can be tough, but with the right micro and, and good use of pillboxes, he can make it happen. Uh, but Snark, it's all about the money for Snark right now. He's got one eagle out, going to start doing some chip damage on the Rhinos. I like that, but he needs to be careful because he has to have the money to keep spamming pillboxes. And these Rhinos are adding the prism. A prism out now. He does save that power plant. Very, very nice, uh, nice micro, uh, quick. Quick uh, decision making there from Snark. Now two eagles out. Uh, I think he missed that rhino. That would have been nice. One of them missing, correct. And you see already Snark. Snark's eco is not doing very well. Yep. While MZIN's eco is doing pretty good. Yep, and Snark. And, and that's meet. just the. It's tough it's here. It's just the eagles. It's very expensive. Eagles are so expensive early on. He does and get a prism a tower prism. out though. Oh, he's not repairing it. Does he have? Does it's it? He has the money to repair it. He needs to save that prism tower. Oh, he alts the nice war. Alt. Nice alt. Alts the war factory. They had to alt. Yep. Perfect alt. And uh, Snark's economy just barely catching up with him. Barely staying alive here. Uh, Snark does have a para drop. Going to use it slightly defensively. Eagles coming in. Ooh, they do take a rhino. That's so important. Every time those eagles are juiced up, he needs to be getting value out of them. And that's what you see. The biggest difference between the top-level allied players and these lower-level guys is how busy they stay with their eagles. Uh, Kian and Woody, it's like, I mean, every single time the eagles can shoot, the eagles are in the air constantly. Um, and it's so, so important. Two eagles taking out a rhino uh, over and over again like that. Uh, early game like this can make a big difference. Tries to push in with those GIs. Doesn't get too much done. Bit of damage, though, and a bit of a distraction. I don't hate that. Uh, Snark getting geared up here. Nice bit of Rockies. He's got his Eagles. Uh, see what he can make happen. One flag out for MCIN. He thinks that's, that's going to be enough. Not sure yet. If Snark could take out that flag with an Eagle, uh, it's uh, free range for those uh, Rockies. Okay, second flag track, third flag track. Oh, and the flag and cannon flag out. Cannon. Oh, and he takes, oh, he hits a barracks, but he pays four eagles for it. That's not good value for Snark. That flat cannon was perfect timing. Now, it was nice. By making him switch over to flat tracks, it did slow down his rhino numbers. Every time a flat track comes out, that's a rhino not coming out. Um, but those losing those four eagles was tough. Uh, they're expensive. They have to rebuild. That was unfortunate for Snark. It's unfortunate for Snark, because Snark's eco is still doing very badly here. And MZIN almost on unlimited money here. He's over 12k and holding. He can just spam those war factories and just overwhelm Snark here. Yep. Battle Fortress is out for Snark. Is it going to be enough? So Snark then goes down. Yep, does. So Snark without a top expansion now. He is confined to a very tight base, but he's got the BFs loaded up. The BFs can do some work here. He's got that Prism Tower in range. Um, ooh, the elite rhino. The elite rhino and the leg. <laughs> Bit of leg here right when we don't want it. Oh, the, the elite rhino goes down. The BF is out. So, and Snark, again, Snark holds Battle Lab and Naval Yard out now. Snark, Snark, if Snark can hold a bit longer, here comes the counterpunch from Snark. The aircraft carrier is in the water, guys. We've been waiting for it all week on this map to see the Naval counterpunch, and here it comes. Uh, finally, Snark, his defensive tactics have paid off. He's uh he's now on the offense with these uh, aircraft carriers. He's got his BFs to defend. Let's see if he can get some value out of these. Looking better for Snark now. Now, if, if MZIN gets sloppy with these flak tracks, uh, Snark's going to be looking to try to get in and take them out. That elite flak track is really going to slow down these aircraft carriers, but um, I'd be tempted just to target the flak tracks if I were Snark. Um, I don't think it's a terrible idea. Oh, it hits another War Factory, and here comes the counter punches from Snark. Really, really well played. Uh, MZIN uh, looking to get his own action in, now heading topside, but Snark's getting these BFs fully juiced up. Is it enough to hold, Doofus? This is going to be enough to hold, yeah. I believe uh, MZIN should be switching over to tech. Needs to go Iron Curtain here. Those those Battle Forges are going to do a lot of damage. There are, I, I don't believe there are even GIs in them. It's just GGIs. 
Yep. And you're gonna take out tanks really easily here. The GG. Yep. And so Snark now looking to looking to push, and he's gonna keep those BFs juiced up. I don't know why there's not more aircraft carriers. Ah, Snark is straddling a very tight economy right now. So the BFs, he's doing little in and outs. He wants to run with them. He is targeting the anti-air with his aircraft carriers, just slowly chipping down the flak tracks and the flak cannons. Snark, uh, with now Snark running out of room to run with these BFs, but the GGIs are coming out. He gets them deployed. Uh, he has the infantry to hold. The question is how much damage is going to get done. He does lose the battle. Ooh, the elite BF. The elite. The elite. Battle fortress. Oh, my God. And so Snark, but how does Snark crack through this anti-air shell? That's the question. He's just uh, he's just throwing these uh, the Hornets right now. Ooh, but now countering from the land. Okay, so now the BF's over to support the aircraft carrier. Wow. New battle lap out for Snark. His economy has now stabilized. He's on 11k. He can he can start spending money now. He has enough GGIs for the next 20 battle fortresses, so he should switch over to some Rockies yep, or yep. something else to to spend his money. Yep, Snark, and he needs to sync up these. He needs more air, so the aircraft carriers aren't pumping. He needs another AFC. He needs another AFC. He needs more Eagles. He builds a Chronosphere, which is hilarious. It's hardly going to get off before the game ends, guys. We're already at seven and a half minutes. Only a few minutes left in this game. Snark's got to be looking to end it. The other thing, too, is Snark is getting so many points right now. These Hornets are free points. If it comes down to time, Snark's going to be in a bad position. These aircraft carriers need to get synced up. He needs more aircraft carriers. Uh, he needs more eagle. He needs more everything, doofus. <laughs> yeah. He's sticking to battle fortresses. I'm not sure what he's building. He might build a war factory or two to get the production up. He's on 20k now. There's nothing coming out of his naval yard. There's nothing coming out of his naval yard. He could have 15 aircraft carriers by now. Snark is obsessed with BS. Oh, that's absolutely right. Ooh, and again on the run. Battle fortresses. Prism towers. Oh, but now and now finally now the naval is, naval yard is getting countered. The squids are, are being built here. Yep. Yeah. And now the squids are going to come out to neutralize those aircraft carriers. And Snark did not get enough value out of those aircraft carriers as we hit the two-minute warning here. Um, yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think either player is going to be able to end it here. Um, Snark's going to use a Chronosphere. He's Snark's going to try to blast off with his Chronosphere and do something crazy. Uh, I don't. Snark's a smart smart player. He is. He knows the time. He knows the timer. Let's see what he can bring here. It's going to be tough though to end this. If he gets all these rhinos, gonna be good points here. Yep. Electric, so they're just sitting there waiting to be taken out. And I don't think MZIN has enough rhinos to deal with all these uh, battle fortresses. Nope, nope. And this is, and the, you know, if it is gonna come down to time, it's time to start harvesting points here. So the Chronosphere is gonna blast off. Um, here we go. Rhinos go in. Okay, and he is again, again, does get quite a few points out of there. Snark pushing in now. Oh, gonna get a nice chain reaction. If he hits this oil, he needs to be targeting these oils. Goes after the seed shoppers. The seed shoppers were doing a lot of damage. Uh, Dreadnought now hitting Snark's Dreadnought. base. Dreadnought. Dreadnought doing- Snark is low power. Oh, Snark goes low power, so he can't use his Chronosphere. He had something big planned for that Chronosphere, presumably, because he spent most of the game worrying about it. And now, somehow, Snark has pulled behind on the naval battle, which there's just no excuse for here. Um, and, and yeah, it's going to come down to time. There's only about 20 seconds left. Oh, battle fortresses for Snark. These are nice points for the Dreadnought, but... Oh, there goes the IC! Nice yep. IC there. MCI. Snark needs to split up. Really Get hard to say elite. here. Elite. Snark. The elite. Both players threw a lot of units. Uh, Another elite battle fortress is top right for Snark, yep. and it's gonna survive, is it? Timer. <laughs> Timer, 20 seconds. <laughs> Berg said it's gonna be close though. Yeah, it will be. I mean, both players threw a lot of units. I don't think. Uh... Wow, Snark it's Snark. Top oh, and it's so kills. and it's yeah. so close. And so, yeah, the rhino kills, but so close. Snark threw a lot of a uh, lot of BFs and a lot of hornets. Remember the hornets from the aircraft carriers give, give points. Yeah. Snark does get a point for that though. Um, Oof, wow, but I mean, it's Snark definitely didn't take that one home the way he wanted to, but he was the aggressor of that game. Um, oftentimes, we do see points going to the defender. Uh, nice to see Snark 
um, was in the was in the control seat most of that game. It's nice to see that the points, the point gods came in his favor there. So it is one one. True, true. I just I just wanted to see MZIN switching over to tech a little bit sooner. As soon as you see your opponent getting a lot of BFs on the field, yeah, it's gonna counter a lot of rhinos and just massing those rhinos is not gonna be enough. You need an IC for that. Yep, yep, yeah, and and, and you know MZIN, we you know I, we haven't seen him. He hasn't been forced to do that yet. You know, in the games he's played so far in Blitz, he's been able to he's won every single game with dogs and rhinos. And uh, mm -hmm. a lot of players have a difficult time making that switch over. A lot of players play dog rhino Soviet, and in Blitz, as soon as the allied player if they resist that early pressure, um, you do start falling behind. You have to use your IC and your uh, and your Kirovs and potentially your navy, but you gotta be looking to mix things up. The rhinos and the dogs really start losing value late game, and MZIN mm -hmm. uh, learned that lesson the hard way. But uh, Snark, um, Snark was just spread a little too thin. I know he's been working some 12 hour shifts. He seems a little tired because he felt the naval battle. He was on 20K, he had two aircraft carriers. He could have punched through with straight aircraft carriers, but anyway, anyway, he does live to oh, fight Oh, that's thing day. we wanna do, we have Ivory's come up with excuses for Snark. He can do it on his own. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's true, it's true. But that anyway, was. banger of a match though. I mean, uh, yeah, both players really going really going at each other right now, and it is 1-1. One, one. Uh, so, yeah, the the, uh, the fun wage is on here. Let's see how this game comes. Point number three as Snark does switch over to Soviet. Snark over to Soviet. He is on the right side, the yellow player. So they have switched sides. And uh, MZIN doing some landscaping here. Nice. Getting rid of some trees. Yeah, early on, you got nothing else to do. Why not? Early radar for Snark. What's yeah. his idea here? Is he gonna go crazy, Ivan? Okay, Desolator coming out Just for Desos. Snark. Yeah, I like that. I think he's I think he's worried about these early these early rhinos, and I think the Desolators are one way to uh, to help try to tip tip, uh, tip the tides a little bit. Just going rhino to rhino with uh, MZIN is is not the funnest thing in the world. So I like the early Desolators here. And Battle Lab as well for Snark. Is he? Go I believe he's going Kirov here, Ivor. I haven't seen a rhino wow. coming out for a while now, so he's yep. going early Kirov. And yeah. MZIN should make his move here. He's out tanking hard, and Snark focusing Desos. on tech. The Desos are way out of position from Snark. Here oh, he Kirov! Kirov effect! Oh, he's too late! If he had killed it oh. there, the Kirov would have been dead. Oh, and now the Desolator. So he's trying to defend with the Desolators. He's got a Boris. This Boris is going to get Desoed, I'm sure. He loses the MCV. Oh, God. Yeah, there's no way Snark can take this. This is it for Snark. M MZIN should just spam out flag tracks and it's over. Yeah. Uh, he does have a... Yeah, the Desolators. Yeah, there's just way... Still not building flag. Okay, there, here comes the flag track. So, yes. Yeah, Barrett so goes down. Snark just Desoing, trying to hold on. Uh, but yeah, there's too many flax. The Kirov's his only uh, only chance here. And uh, that, that strat definitely didn't work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, so that strategy, uh, pencil that one down, is not working. Um, you know, and, no. and Snark, I do, I do like Snark. I mean, I like the kind of players who play blitz like that. Uh, they mix and match, and I think, I think in a longer series. Um, I think there's more of a place for that. Like if we're playing best of nine or something, I think those random strategies can be fun. Not necessarily that they'll always work, but that they keep your opponent on their toes. You know, if your opponent always knows your opening, it gives them an advantage. So to do some wacky stuff every once in a while, it, it's not bad, but in a best of five, it's just really, really tough. You really can't afford to, to throw points. No, it's such a short series as yeah. well. Yeah, that's true. Well, you can say at least he tried, but he lost. Yeah, he did. He <laughs> points for trying. You get some kind of points. Points for trying. <laughs> nah, but that gear off takes a lot of time to build. Yeah, it just yep. stopped the production of Rhinos. MZN just yep. went massively in front. Yep, and he uh, be a tough hold. Yeah, and and you know he had the idea. His idea was he was going to hold with sentries and desos. Uh, but his desos got a little bit out of position. And this map is kind of interesting with this hill, the top level and the bottom level. You want to hold both. And it does split up your defenses early on. You know, a lot of the Blitz maps, you get bottlenecks, a little bit easier to defend early on. This one is pretty, the defensible positions here early on are difficult with that top level and the bottom level. Uh, Dubas, you saw a little bit of that as well with like your Desolators getting a little out of position. It's a lot of ground yeah. to cover early on. Correct, and they're so slow. Yep. If you're out of position, you can just kiss them goodbye. Yep, yep. So MZIN 
Uh, again, we do see Soviet versus Soviet here again, and Snark, uh, Snark behind on Rhinos, but ahead on his economy. Nice sentry. Yeah, Snark went uh, one oil after barracks while MZIN went straight war factory. I think you can hold here as well. Uh, just for just for sure in my match versus MZIN, I build a drone just to kill the first tank, you know, and uh, make it even. But as long as the MZIN is attacking and Snark is defending, he can hold. Yep, yep, and that's that's important. You know, early on, you don't necessarily need the tank advantage as the defender. Obviously, you have the defensive advantage, uh, being able to bait buildings, use your sentry guns uh, closer to your production, your war factor, your barracks are kicking out reinforcements closer. It's definitely an early defensive advantage. As long as you're close, you should be able to hold with uh, with the proper skill set. Um, and yeah, it is interesting. So we're seeing, we still haven't really seen it yet much here, but if you look right to the left and the right of the Dominator, this area really can't be built on because people can go up on the cliffs and shoot down so that makes this map even more confined in that way um you have to kind of stay away from this cliff and that's why it's so important to hold that top area um to have space to uh to expand your base obviously and as we yeah, see correct very even here three war factories three war factories snark brings the radar first snark brings the radar and he is touching zero he went low power there for just a second mcn the same both of them on three war factories, MZN, but just a, just a tad bit of better economy. So he's producing good. Yep. Yeah. Snark needs more money here. So MZN is pulling ahead in tank numbers here. Snark on four war factories though. Hey, okay, nice push. Yep. Radar goes down. Oh no, doesn't. So Snark, yeah, Snark uh, baited, baited, baited a little good bit bait, there. and the sentry is there. Yep, it's a nice bait. He made him, and as soon as all the tanks target a building, that's when you spring in there. Uh, all of those tanks have to reload. Uh, you get that first shot in, and even with a slightly less tank uh, numbers there, Snark must have been down on tanks there to start. Yeah, but Snark yeah, was so. down in tank numbers there, and uh, they yeah. pulled out even. So yeah. that sentry really uh, helped him out there. Good sentry, good, yeah, good bait, and uh, didn't even lose the radar. So now the Desolators, again, a bit out of position here as uh, MZIN now headed down to the bottom side. Let's see if the Desolators can get down there in time to thin out this fodder. Not going to deploy. Yep. Going to sacrifice one more factory, but... Yeah, Snark's good about that. Snark's good about uh, using buildings as, as kind of shields, baiting off of them, playing off of them. Uh, it's a big, it's one of those top-level skills that, uh, you know, really separates... Uh, top players from from really good players and I like the snarks use of that it's fun to see even as snark as a you know not not a super top level player but it's nice to see his understanding of the game like that and to show it to mm -hmm. the lower level players because you know those are the things you want to be thinking about like can I afford to lose this war factory is it better than losing my army those are the decisions you have to constantly be making when you're uh, when you're defending battle lab now mm -hmm. from snark battle lab out for snark and he's massively outproduced now MZIN on six war factories. Kirov comes out. A lot of desolators to defend. I like the Kirov here. So that, again, this does force MZIN to switch over to flag tracks, and we'll slow down his uh, Rhino production. Drones out now to counter these desolators. Uh, I'd like to see Snark get some more sentry guns to handle these drones. Nice desolator. Snark on a lot of his own radiation. Weird tank routing here. Oh, he needs to deploy those desos. Oh, yeah, if he deploys them, there's a lot of damage here. He doesn't, but... He doesn't. He's using, yeah, using just the, the deso gun. Snark's a big proponent of the deso gun itself, using the desolators as fodder. I, he could have deployed there, though, right, Doof? I mean, there's no reason not to do he that. He could have deployed there. His tanks were nowhere yeah. uh, near the desolation, but still, he pulls Sorry, out ahead, and that Kirov is going to do a lot of damage here. And he now, and we see MZIN only now scrambling the flak tracks. He only gets two flaks, and Snark needs to counter... He needs to target these oils. It's going to be a big yeah. chain reaction, and no one has taught MZIN the lesson oh. yet of building too many oils close to your GG MCB. Called. Yep. And, uh, and it's... And that's what we call, that's that's kind of like hazing, right? That's like every new mm -hmm. Blitz player learns that lesson the hard way. Uh, yeah. <laughs> when you try to tell yeah. the new players, you say, hey, you know, careful where you build your oils. They don't really think about it. And then once once that happens to you one time, hopefully you're the player that will never allow it to happen again. I have one thing you've said a lot of times as well. You have to pick the entry point of where you're going to attack. 
he he could have just switched and go top easily out out tanking snark really hard and that um those desos would would have yep. not been able to um heal so much damage you know yep yep if that's he, it i mean yeah that's exactly right yeah exactly yeah he could have uh he just ran right yep. into 20 desos and uh just yep. gave away his whole army there Yep. Yeah. He. Uh, it was. It was. It was not the right decision of where to attack, and he kind of got into that tight uh, corridor because of the oil cliff. And yeah, it was unfortunate. Yeah, Snark. Yeah. Snark going allied for the championship, guys. And for anyone who's lost track of what's going on here, we officially have a barn burner on our hands. Um, again, let me remind the guys: there is no timer here for the championship. Um, no timer. Let's launch the game. It's officially a barn burner. It's 2-2. Two, two. It's gone back and forth so many times. Both these guys coming at each other, proving they are on very similar levels. MZIN, a new player, uh, hanging with Snark, who's, who's a great player. Uh, mm -hmm. ah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good. It's doofus. If you had, you, right now, gun to your head. If you're wrong, you die. Who you, who you saying is going to win this? And a big Snark still. I'm gonna, here's the thing, I'm going with MZIN. I don't trust Snark's allied. If Snark would have kept Soviet, but Snark, I don't know, he gets a little too wacky sometimes. Like Snark, Snark's the kind of guy who would rather win with a wacky trick play 70% of the time than win straight up 80% of the time. Like, and, and that scares me, That's it scares me. I don't know, I, I'm his allied scares me. Ally is pretty good though. I mean it was, and you're right, but, and he should have he should have crushed him that one allied point. He did lose, lost an allied point, should have won an allied point, well did win on points. His allied, I mean it's fine. It, it's I don't know. It, it's snark. Like I've seen situations like this with snark where, you know, it's 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 a barn burner, everything comes down to this. All of a sudden snark's like GI rushing or Rocky rushing, you know? Um and as I say yeah. that the early AFC, um, I don't know, but again, he's a showman. I appreciate the entertainment, however he wants to give it to me. I appreciate that we don't just have to watch Rhino Wars over and over and over. So. I, I agree with you, Ivor. <laughs> Snark's allied is making me nervous on Blitz map. I know in <laughs> on yeah. normal maps, his ally is just really tough to beat, but you know, his eco hitting that zero once in a yep. while makes me really nervous, bro. It's, yep. uh, <laughs> And, and I don't feel uneasy really quick. But, uh. <laughs> and especially against a uh, a Rhino Rush player, there goes the Eagle. Oh, saves the Eagle, thank God. Saves the Eagle. Um, yeah, against a player like MZIN, really, really tough. Uh, so, um, he did snipe that Engineer, though. It looked like MZIN was going for the Psychic Dominator, expecting uh, the Allied Turtle. And the, M uh, the Psychic Dominator is a mechanic made to prevent, to reward the aggressive player and... Uh, and punish the camper. That's why it's here. If someone wants to just sit in their base and spam eagles, you take the dominator, you destroy them. So that's why it is there. Haven't seen it get but much. But that's a do, uh, Ivor. It's just a psychic dominator. It's just a regular. Oh, that's a devil. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Is so, it half the time or? No, it's regular time. So I think that's maybe one hindrance of it. That's maybe one consideration, though. The timer maybe should be less on it. We haven't really seen it used yet. It's hard to know because we haven't really had many top level guys play the map. So it's hard to know really what it's going to evolve to be. But maybe the timer should be less. It is indestructible, though. All right. Ooh, he does route that eagle out. Saves that eagle. Nice micro from Snark. Nice micro from Snark. His eco is doing much better than his previous allied game. I think he's gotten he's gotten that under control now. While MZIN brings out a third war factory here. Yep, and Snark. <clears throat> Snark's economy rolling nice. Yeah, the battle lab and a nice economy. He's got four eagles. Um, so he can bring out the mirages here, and MZIN is going to learn his lesson the hard way here. Is it against the allied player? Ooh, dives in and just tries to hit some rhinos and loses two eagles for it. My God, no eagles! TGIs are being built. I've heard the battle fortresses are out. Oh, the BFs are out, and uh, MZIN is going to learn the hard way that the longer you let the allied player sit and develop, the worse things get for you. He does have a lot of rhinos here, and I love this. Hopping in and taking that expansion is really, really nice. Snark. You know, probably wasn't going to build up there anyway. As the allied player, obviously, you want to have a defensible position, keep your base as tight as possible. But um, it's a good push. It's going to push in here. That's a nice prism tower. A lot of tanks, a lot of BFs. Snark using his GGIs. MZIN trying to pick his target, but dancing around in range of that prism tower. Oh, the elite rhino comes out, loses it though. Oh, it goes down immediately. And uh, Snark's got to be happy about that. Snark just wants to keep resisting as Snark does take the naval yard now. So here's a tricky play I'm going to tell you guys before you see a player like Kian do it. Build a dolphin, put the dolphin right here, and then your opponent can't build a naval yard. 
right, Doofus? I mean, if, right, if someone has right, it, yeah, yeah. So you gotta this this map. The harbor is very very small, so uh, countering mm -hmm. the opponent's harbor, I think, is a big move. Aircraft carrier is out now, so Snark now looking for a counter punch, trying to get offensive here. See if he can get some damage done. The flat cannons are out to counter. And he's slowly turning into Snark's game here. Yep. Oh, and he's going to target that oil. Pro move here. Going to get a nice chain reaction. And again, MZI is going to learn the hard way about the chain reacting oils. Can they get through these flak track, these flak cans? I think he should target the flak cans. There you go. So you just go right at the flak cans. Keep targeting them. Ooh, but Snark is broke. And this is common for the allied player. They have so much they want to do. They want to get their eagles. They want to get their aircraft carriers. Um... So now Snark's going to try to use the BFs to support the aircraft carriers, I think. <clears throat> yeah, and MCIN going in through the top. He's got his radar out. He should be taking up here. More aircraft carriers being built by Snark. Yep, and that's a great point, Doofus. MCIN is not using a battle app. He's on 12k. We are so solid in mid-game here <laughs> against a tech allied player. You can't do it with Rhinos. There comes the battle lab. You've got to diversify your portfolio. You've got to get the Iron mm -hmm. Curtain involved. Uh, Iron Curtain's on a timer. The sooner you get it out, the more you're going to get. The more Iron Curtains you get, uh, the better it is for you, obviously. So Snark now bringing in, trying to target. Ooh, but Snark does is forced to pull back to defend here. Not sure how he didn't see that coming, um, but Snark has, Snark has quite a bit of base he's willing to give up here. Um, if he can keep these aircraft carriers working. Uh, and now he's got five aircraft carriers. He just needs to hold defensively here, and he's got plenty of BFs to do it. Okay, air, the anti-air is down in MZIN's base. Time for these aircraft carriers to go to work. They are AFK at the moment. Snark is distracted and not using them. There's no anti-air. The aircraft carriers could just go to work right now, but he's focused on the top end battle. Snark should be doing oh. doing work here. Those air aircraft carriers are AFK for too long. Oh, the AFK aircraft carriers are killing me. MZIN on 16K, not rebuilding his flak. Both players are very distracted. Like, I mean, they're in battle of their lives right now, and Snark needs to pull back to a defensive position and use these aircraft carriers. What is he doing? There he goes, here, finally. Here come the aircraft carriers. Boom. Oh, wow, those didn't chain react. Hit the MCD. Look at all the elite Hornets, too. Wow. Mm-hmm. Now the flat cannon comes out. Um, Rhino's coming down to try to target the aircraft carriers. He should be able to get the MCV before that. MCV does go down now, and things going nicely in Snark's favor here. The Rhino's to counter those aircraft carriers, but as they do that, Snark's ground army on the top side, big hit on that uh, nuclear reactor. Big hit, low power for MCIN. Is he going for a base trade here? I don't think he's going to win a base trade, but... it's yeah, It might be he, all he's got to do, though. He does yeah, go he's, for the... yeah, that's his only way to win here. Nice try for MCIN against the creative Snark. Wow. Yep. Snark doesn't have that many buildings left, honestly. Now, the question is, does MZIN know he doesn't need to target the oils? He only needs to target the primary buildings. But uh, but now this is just a race of clicking the buildings here. Snark should beat him to it. MZIN down to his last flat cannon. Uh, GG. Wow, and Snark takes that one home. And a great game, great game by by both players. Uh, MZIN guys again. He did win the uh, that D four tournament last last week. Um, newer player, but he is go going. His younger brother, who's a who's a top level player, um, certainly understands the game really really well played. And not only demonstrating a knowledge of the macro components of the game, but also really displaying an ability to play blitz at a high level. He's using really good blitz tactics and. Um, his, you know, he's there. His rhinos, his early builds, his early aggression is all there. It's just um, one of those things that's going to come with reps. And there, you know, he learned that lesson the hard way. Against the allied player, you have to push early tech. Um, against an allied player who is, you know, you go early, you try to get something done. But if you can't, you have to get that tech up. You have to be using your Iron Curtain. The rhinos are not going to get it done. And he hadn't that experienced that yet. He'd only been playing Soviet versus Soviet versus opponents up till now. So Snark gave him a really, really good look. And obviously hats off to, uh, to Snark for... For, see for seeing that idea, getting that idea to come in there with allied uh, camp, resist early, and make something happen.